Team, keep it clean. Um, while Ravens are a little quiet right now, ain't nothing happening as of this moment. I, I just wanted to really address something that I feel a lot of people uh, have misunderstood, not only from myself, but from other Ravens fans as well who spoke on this yesterday. Uh, because, of course, whenever the Ravens, they make a move and um, a lot of people, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of dialogue, some friendly dialogue and then some not so friendly dialogue on how people feel about the move. And oftentimes, unfortunately, um, you hear where well, you see where people, if they don't agree with what somebody else says, then they'll automatically shut it down and they won't even listen to what that person is saying or even try to understand where that person is is coming from you see that far too often and that's not just in football that can be in life in general a lot of people do that um but i wanted to try to explain uh what a lot of people's stance is on pat ricard because in all reality uh the issue is not even uh pat ricard it's not <laughs> the issue is not pat ricard uh a lot of people's concern and, and I, I expressed it yesterday in the video is the usage of Pat Ricard more so in the passing game like we acknowledged a lot of times yesterday in the video throughout the video Pat Ricard is an excellent fullback he's excellent at what he does uh, he's a great lead blocker the Ravens love his game the Ravens love his name the Ravens love his story they love where he came from they they, they love all of that stuff and that's fine that's that's why they re-signed him to a three-year deal and on top of that it's a team-friendly deal it's not a deal that's gonna break the bank and this is something that I mentioned yesterday in a Twitter space that even with, with them signing Pat Ricard, they still have an opportunity to show all of us. They have an opportunity to show everybody like, hey, even though we did sign Marcus Williams to this big deal, it's more backloaded than anything. We signed Morgan Moses to this team-friendly deal. We signed Pat Ricard to this team-friendly deal. We signed Zedarius. Oh, yeah. No, they didn't. Um, but even with them signing Pat Ricard, they can still show all of us that they are really willing to go all in. They are really willing to put all the chips forward and really try to build the best possible team that they can. So they, they still got the opportunity to show that. Now, again, like we mentioned a couple of days ago, they are falling behind. Even with them getting out of their element, they are still falling behind. So they got to play some catch up with other teams around the league. But, hey, you, you still got some time to do that. You still got time. But the issue is not with Pat Ricard. It's just, again, how are they going to not only just use Pat Ricard. It's not just him. Because I think that's something that's been getting lost in translation as well. But I think people's bigger issue is how the Ravens are going to use their weapons. That's one of the big issues. How the Ravens are going to use their weapons because... This was even before last year. This has been an issue for a, a, a long time. When it's come to the development of their own. And I've been seeing a lot of back and forth. Um, now, there's the argument, oh, about weapons. When we're talking about weapons. Um, there's a lot of different arguments that have been out there. Do we have guys that are weapons? Uh, we have Rashad Bateman. Uh, he came on the scene and he looked good in his first year. He looked good in his first year. And Rashad Bateman, he is going to be a weapon for this Baltimore Ravens team. Uh, I remember when in his first game, was it against the Chargers? I think it was against the Chargers, whoever it was against. In his first game, I was like, I was thinking, oh, well, well Rashad Bateman, yeah, he, he going to be a little rusty or whatever. He'll get a couple snaps. He ain't going to get nothing crazy. This dude was out there like the whole game. He was out there a lot. And... It's like him and Lamar, they had a, a, a connection. And, and even on one of the interceptions that was actually intended for Rashad Bateman, uh, Lamar was still throwing to him. So Lamar was giving him his opportunities. And I was like, oh, oh, okay now. Well, let's get it. Um, and you could tell that how much the Ravens really valued this guy. Well, at least in that game, not in the Dolphins game. But you could tell how much the Ravens really valued that guy, uh, Rashad Bateman, because they had him out there so much. And I was like, oh, okay. And then when you saw him catch the ball you, and you saw just how he moved, how, how fluid he was, it was like, okay, I understand why. So he's definitely a weapon. Then you look at Mark Andrews. We ain't even got to get into that. 
Hollywood Brown, a deep threat, he's also a weapon too. But a lot of people's concern, and this is like a, a two-part concern, and we'll try to break both parts down. One part is, what about after that? Who are the real weapons after that when it comes to James Prochet or Devin DuVernay, Tylen Wallace, Miles Boykin, as far as pass catchers, um, Nick Boyle, uh, Josh Oliver, who are the other, the other quality weapons after that? Now, you could break down that down into two parts. You could say, well, the Ravens don't really have those other guys on the field. Too. Well, Devin DuVernay, they have him on the field a lot, but he's just more so like a gadget guy. He's a gadget guy. It doesn't seem like the Ravens like really truly use him. They don't even use him to his potential, in my opinion. They don't use him to his potential. Um, and with James Prochet, with Miles Boykin, um, you, you always hear about that word that I just used, potential. Potential, potential, potential. Uh, Ravens, they, they let you know about, oh, these guys got so much potential. But that potential continues to remain untapped. So that's why a lot of Ravens fans end up being frustrated. Um, and then there's another argument over, hey, the Ravens, they could actually add some more weapons and add some weapons that have lived up to their potential. Um, and that's something that I still feel like they should do. Um, you got Lamar Jackson going into his, this is fifth year. Yeah, this is fifth year. And it would be lovely it would be a beautiful thing if the Ravens added a guy at wide receiver who is and has been that guy. Not an old washed up version of that, but somebody who is like that. Like, like that. Because you can never, ever have enough quality weapons. You can never have enough established quality weapons. And if the Ravens could add somebody like like a lot of Ravens fans, they they're like, OK, well, hey, we drafted like the most receivers over the past couple of years. And they ain't that good enough. But uh, so many of those receivers are based off of potential. And the Ravens, they trying to win right now. And, you know, the Ravens, they don't, obviously don't, don't have the best track record when it comes to the development. So why not get somebody? Why not continue to step out of your comfort zone like you did with Marcus Williams? Continue to step out of that comfort zone and get somebody that's a big time playmaker right here, right now. Like, again, look around the league. Look around the league. The league is moving at this crazy fast pace. And all the meanwhile, the Ravens just they, they, they chilling. They're taking it easy. And they have uh, also with a lot of fans, with a lot of fans, they'll be like, oh, if the, you see all these teams making these moves and stuff, da -da 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 -da. a lot of fans will be like, hey, just be patient. Be patient. And yeah, the Ravens usually take a patient approach. They don't go crazy in free agency early on. Um, they, they take that patient approach. But if you look around, the league is moving fast. Just even take out the league, just the AFC. They are moving at a crazy fast pace. And the Ravens just sitting back. Sitting back. Maybe they got something that they planning on doing. Hey, I don't know, but they sitting back. So that's why I said Again, I said it on Sunday. They Ravens, they've got to play catch up. They got to play catch up because they're behind right now. And as far as uh, weapons, ooh, weapons, weapons, weapons. Uh, with well, weapons, is we just want Lamar and just the Ravens to have quality. We just want everybody's job to be made easier. Like you look at look at Derek Carr. They have um, oh, the guy. I think he's number nine wide receiver, nine or nineteen, and he he was he was getting us last year. He was torching us last year. Um, they got Darren Waller. They got Renfro, but they were like, oh, you know what? Let's go get Devontae Adams. Let's go get Devontae Adams. It's like, man, really? And then just today, it was said that they got a visit scheduled with Demarcus Robinson. So they got an established guy, obviously, <laughs> Devontae Adams. They got an established weapon in his prime. They have one of the best tight ends in the league. They had that already, one of the best tight ends in the league already. And they had a quality wide receiver in Renfro and another quality wide receiver in, um, I, I cannot remember his name right now. 
they had they got a nice running back they got their quarterback and again they still were like all right we're getting Devontae adams still and then on top of that they could get demarcus robinson another quality wide receiver and he was a depth guy with kansas city but he still uh he still can make stuff happen he still the chiefs you like we we ain't got to talk about them but they do it all the time every year it would without fail they, they it without fail they just signed Juju to a deal, a base deal worth like 3.75 mil, something like that. It can be worth up to 10 mil, but that's with incentives. But they got a Tyreek Hill. They got a Travis Kelce. I think they re-signed Josh Gordon, but that's like, you put an asterisk on that because you don't know if he's going to play or not. Hopefully he does. But then they say, you know what? No, bring him too. Bring him too. Bring in uh, Juju too. And, and now Jackson Mahomes said he want to collab with him. You look at um, oh, look at the bills. Look at the bills. The bills again. Josh Allen is looking a little patchy initially, but they like no, okay, Stephon Diggs. Oh, Gabe Davis. Oh, Cole Beasley. Oh, um, Emmanuel Sanders. So now this year they cut Cole Beasley. They still, of course, got Stephon Diggs. Got Gabe Davis. He's still on his rookie deal. I said, oh, who they signed? What, what was it, Jameson Crowder? Who they signed from the Jets? Like, man, like, they always giving Josh Allen just more and more. More and more. And I, I, I saw somebody um, I saw somebody in the comment section. I, uh, I think it was on Twitter somewhere. And under uh, the report that they signed, they were signing uh, Jameson Crowder. They were like, oh, man, how much help does Josh Allen need? And I was just thinking, like, why, why wouldn't the team want to help him as much as possible? And we can go down a list of more teams, too, as you all already know. Um, but the point in all of this uh, that a lot of Ravens fans get frustrated with is why are the Ravens, why, why don't they do that for Lamar? Why, didn't, why don't they do that themselves? Like, yeah, you still have your potential guys. Your potential guys, they're not going anywhere. But st get that established guy, too. Get that guy who's like that, man. Get a guy who you know already can come, come in and just take over, make Hollywood's job easier, make Bateman's job easier, make Mark Andrews' job easier, make Lamar Jackson's job that much easier. That's so many people's arguments when it comes to weapons. We know the Ravens do have some weapons on the team, some established weapons on the team. Really, two. You got two that are established. And you know Rashad Bateman, he's on the way. He's not established yet, but he's on the way. But you got some established weapons on the team. Mark Andrews, Marquise Brown. Those are your established guys. But why not, get, why not add more? Why not add more? Like, and it, it, it seems like so many Ravens fans, they just, they can be so content. So content with, ah, what we got is good enough. Ah, it's okay. We don't we don't need to add anybody else. Ah, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, we we're good. And the Ravens, like when you think about it, Ravens have a lot of like slot receivers. They got a lot of slot receivers, and it's we just they could just do more, man. They could do more. It it is, and it's nothing wrong at all with adding quality to your team. Quality weapons. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Nothing. Like if <laughs> if teams decided to say if teams were like, you know what? What we got is good enough. You wouldn't have seen the Bills doing what they did. You wouldn't have seen that. You wouldn't have seen it. Not at all. You wouldn't see the Chiefs be how they are. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Like teams like you, in my opinion, you can't settle, man. You can't just settle for what you have. You really got to try to turn your weaknesses into strengths. Even the Bengals. Look at the Bengals. Look at, look at the Browns. Browns just cut Jarvis Landry, man. Now they trying to get him back because they got Deshaun Watson. They went and got Amari Cooper. They kept David Njoku. Browns trying to get Jarvis Landry back. So they ain't playing, man. They ain't playing, man. But Ravens just, they, it, it seems like sometimes they just so content. And, and that them being content 
it's it's carried over to a lot of Ravens fans. A lot of Ravens fans just feel like, oh, okay, no, we 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 good, we okay. No, we don't need that. No, man, they should. They should. You you wouldn't want to to have the best or the best that you can possibly get. Like for real, man. Like you, man. I just sometimes I just, I, I I don't understand it. Well, no, you know what? I do understand it. Because, again, that, that's how the front office has trained a lot of people's minds uh, to think over the years. Um, so that's it, man. So bottom line, we just we just want the Ravens to not only use their weapons, but to really get some, really amp it up. Amp it up. And, again, there's nothing wrong with wanting more. Um, especially when you look around the league and it seems like the Ravens just have less. 